Well, ever think about that great candy you loved as a kid and you just can't find it anymore? We may have found your brand. That's right. There's a candy shop that's been here in the D for decades. It's owned by a family committed to helping out their neighborhood, too. Kyla Peoples has the sweet story of the <laughs> Janko Candy Company. heard the story of Willy Wonka or the candy man who can make a day better by just unwrapping a lollipop. Well, there's a place right here in Detroit where all your candy and other wishes can come true. From Twizzlers and Skittles to old school treats, there's something here that will make you say, gosh, I haven't had one of those in years. If there is a candy that you can get somewhere in the southeastern United States, I go find it for you. It's called Chanco Candy Shop and it's been providing candy to Detroiters for almost a century. And the story behind the store is as sweet as its treats. My great grandmother and grandfather were getting rations of cocoa and sugar and they were making chocolate candy and standing on a street corner on West Grand Boulevard selling. He came here in 1945 and bought this building. The family tradition continued even after the initial owners retired. My dad met his dog. So Mr. Letty, aka Mr. Letty, is actually James Nall Sr. So he became affectionately known as Mr. Letty. He bought it in 1960. For many years, Mr. Letty was the man behind the candy curtain, filling up kids' bags full of candy and full of hope by giving many of them their first jobs. Uh, we train them how to work through a mentor program first. When they're old enough to work, we put them on payroll. They get jobs. We mentor them all the way through high school. Uh, we walk them through college the best we can. There's even a wall of fame, highlighting the sweet successes of the store's employees. In the late 1990s, Mr. Luddy's son took over the shop. Mr. Luddy continues to watch over his candy wonderland while his son carries on the family legacy. That's what really makes this store is, is that continual memory of your childhood and, and letting go of the stress of the day. And just coming here, having a treat, and just staying sweet. The store is located on West Grand Boulevard on the west side of Detroit. Mr. Luddy is the patriarch of the business. He recently passed away, but his family is continuing his legacy. The store can modify any of the candies in the store to create your own special mix, and Kyla brought us some of our favorites here. Yeah, we can focus on that whatchamacallit. My sister used to live for that candy. I have to take a picture of that and send it to her. Remember these? Yeah, those seem very... I can get the darn thing um, open. What? You're supposed to, like... Questionable nowadays. They're I waxy, right? Them. Yeah, you that's bite these? You bite the top off. Yeah. You do bit too far. Mm -mm. Mm. So when I was a kid and I got these, I just bit this part off and then squeezed the rest. Wow, that is tart. Is it? <laughs> I need some pop rocks to wash that down. I hope I don't die. Like remember the urban legend? Mm. Just don't drink any soda. That's right. So this is an O. Henry. I've never had this before. Candy it tastes like a snicker. It just doesn't have a nougat. I mean nougat. Scared. You just scared me. <laughs> Yo, I thought I something was happening to you. I almost was like, oh my God, are you okay? <laughs> he just freaked me out. How's that, by the way? Oh, very good. Tastes like a snicker. You can have half. Mm. Tastes like a snicker without the nougat. 